he's got these welded on uh, so that when they're welding on the other side the door is not going to twist and distort because of all the heat. Oh, I don't think I'm not. So Jim's getting the gear pump ready to lift the rest of the oil out of the yeah. bottom of this filter. Yeah. And we'll get those lines off. You want to put a little bucket down there? Just to, no, I guess not. Nah, uh, yeah, this thing already let go. So, okay. so we got all the bolts yeah, out the on bolt. this side. Yep, that one just loosened up. Yeah, just looking at it kicked it with your leg. Yeah, so there's a little bit left in this pipe here. Yeah. So, I mean, if you wanted to get it all out, there's always going to be some residual there, so. Yeah, and this guy already put it all down there. So next up, we're going to we're gonna get these, and then we'll yeah. hopefully get we'll these lines in. We'll take the whole thing out then. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get this bolt, too. Oh, you're, oh it's backwards. Well, then I did it the other way back. I, <laughs> <laughs> so you got me for 47. <laughs> uh, well, what are you going to do? Got, we got those lines out. Um, I don't have a camera camera operator, so um, unfortunately you're gonna miss most of the action that goes on. Uh, here's the flanges uh, that had the leaking gaskets. They were letting the oil into the bilge out of the filter. And let me see which side. This was the filter side, and then this is where they came up into the into the heat exchanger here. Now, not only do we need to replace those gaskets, but we're gonna bring them up. Um, you can see where they're kind of pinched here. They're pinched here. And I think that was done just to get them to fit underneath one of the, uh, the oil lines there. Um, so when they did that, some cracks developed and actually these pipes kind of seep oil underneath uh, where that where that little pinch is. Um, so these are gonna get. I'm gonna degrease them. I'm gonna bring them up, um, and probably get Danny to uh, solder them up, uh, and uh, and get get them back into shape uh, because we we would really like to save these rather than you know cut the flanges off and then do a bunch of 45s and 90s to get them in uh, because these are the original ones. They're all bent into shape. Uh, when the ship was built. Side of the drain is packed. I wonder what side, side it's on. I wonder if that's the seawater side or the... Uh, Can you look over here? Exactly. Yeah. Water water water. Water. There you go. <laughs> I mean, if it's the engine water side, I think the engine was full of water. Sure. You can't tell the Well, we can out the seawater and we can out the tap water. I can always love the water and freeze the ocean. All right, we're getting down to the last of the water that's coming out of that heat exchanger there. So it's the, probably the last time this thing's ever gonna ever gonna see water. You see, it's kind of black. Yeah, yeah, she's burping. So. 
big day. So as long as it's in this bucket, it can't leak in the bilge anymore. This is all put back together. We dropped all the deck plates back into place and the overboard's closed. Uh, geez, we probably got, I want to say about 100 gallons of water out of the 16 cylinder uh, so far. Uh, the only issue now is just that it doesn't have either adequate venting or the water is trying to get past some impellers inside of a pump. So the water takes a while to get uh, where it needs to be before it drops down into the trap there. Uh, so next week we're gonna, uh, we'll wrap that up. We'll get the rest of the water out. And um, yeah, then we can get the oil done. So once this is all done, we will have solved what I believe are the main issues of why this build in particular, this compartment, got filled with oil and water in the first place. Um, so we're going to be in really good shape once this is all wrapped up. Take care.